I do not want to. What's up, YouTube? Velocity here, and welcome back to Fears to Fathom Norwood Hitchhike. I think what makes this game so unsettling for me is it's not just the music, it's. Oh, Carson House, yeah. Wow, so estimated playtime 40 minutes. Alright, so this video is probably gonna be an hour. That's what that means. Wow, let's get right into it. I gotta make sure my door's locked, bro. Oh my god. Episode 2 Norwood Hitchhike. June 16th. It's almost June 16th in real time, actually, so. This happened to me when I was 19. When you were 19? Oh my god, I'd be scarred for life, dude. I'm a little, I'm a little over 21 now. I still remember this very clearly because of how creeped out I felt. Yeah, I mean, I, I'm saying I'd be scarred for life. I haven't even played the game yet, bro. Like, just the fact that this, these stories have happened to real people, like these are real things. The fact that there are weird people out here like this, bro. Like, the first episode, some dude was stalking a little kid. Like, bro, that is... It, I, it baffles me that people are in society like that, just walking around, and you never know who they could be. Like, that is crazy to me. I was a bit hesitant to write this out from the internet at first, but getting, out, getting it out may help, even if it's just a little bit. I was one of those people that loved gaming conventions. I do, too. I'd go to every convention I get the chance to, even though I've only been to one. And sometimes even meet some of my online friends. That my parents weren't always thrown at the idea of going on interstate drives, but a plane ticket would have been too expensive. But this convention I was at went great, and it was now the day to drive back home. But when I set off, I soon realized the traffic was horrible. I decided I'd take the long way to avoid the traffic. Never, bro. I always take the traffic, because at least I know where I'm going. Like, I don't like taking back roads. I don't. They're too creepy for me. Especially when it's dark at night and you can't see anything and you need high beams. No. I'm not doing that. It was a little over a 12-hour drive. Nah. I personally could not, bro. WASD to drive? Alright. Bro, where are my legs at? How am I driving the car if I don't have legs? Nah, what is this garbage, bro? Driving at night is really therapeutic for me. Yeah, same, but you gotta be careful. I cannot text and drive, bro. I gotta stop the car. Nah, 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 nah. Stop the car, stop the car, stop the car, stop the car, stop, the car. stop, stop. Do not text and drive. Space to get out. I'm not getting out. Um, okay, Dad, Aiden Williams. Stuck in the figures. Yeah. Okay, let me go all the way back up. We go all the way back up. Discord. Yes, sir. We got the tickets, so I'll see if I can get the car. Let you know. Finally going to take a mile on the mile. Finally going to take mile on a walk. Um, okay, the plan is on. I'm guessing that's their... I forgot. I got scared, bro. I got scared. Okay. Um, hell yeah. See, wait, you're getting the car? Yep. Big girl. You sure Ash can't come? I'll get the skateboard too. So. Oh, she didn't reply. That's my birthday, May 22nd. Wow. Sounds fun. Discord. Where are you? I think they're just saying Discord so they can see the message they sent to each other. Almost there. I don't see you. Hey, Pete shirt. Oh, they found each other. It was fun. I had a good time. But yeah, let's not text and drive. I feel like someone's going to open the door and throw me out GTA style. I am not risking that, bro. Let's just keep driving. I'll read it later when we stop eventually, hopefully, sometime soon. Speed limit is 40, I think it said. I hate this, like, bro, I can't read the text. I'm driving. Oh my God. Oh my God. All right, guys, don't do this. I'm going to break my own rule. Don't do this. Once we're, once we're driving in a straight line. It's not straight. Am I low on gas? Oh my God. No. Dead. Where did you reach? Okay, yeah. I am nowhere close to home, Dad. I hate to break it to you. Bro, stop texting me. 
I told you to take that flight. Well, it's too late now. You're telling me when I'm already on my way home. I feel like I'm gonna turn and see someone in the car, bro. Stop texting me. Damn. It's gonna be late when you reach back. I hope you're feeling all right. I'm okay. This is so bad, guys. Do not text and drive, please. Please don't do it. You can get into a serious accident. Why is this guy just chilling here? Oh, this is gas. Yes, I need gas. Yes, oh my god. No, 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 no. Don't crash into the gas tank, bro. Bro, come on. Park correctly. What is this? Okay. Alright, that's good enough. No, stop. Stop moving. Oh my god. <laughs> okay, let's get out. Oh my god, the music is so loud. Okay, hold on. Okay, hopefully that's better. Alright, let's read these now. Um, yeah, I'm rerouting here. Alright, I didn't read all of this. Yeah, I don't see you. Okay, are you sure you're driving? I don't really have a choice now, do I? Could've left tomorrow morning. <laughs> Give me a call. Okay, Dad. <laughs> bro, I have to read the text messages. It's making fun of me for reading them, bro. This is probably not the best place to do it, but... Yeah, she got stuck in traffic. It's not too good here. You think it's people? Yep. Do what you gotta do. Okay. Did I say following you? Yep. Why don't you understand anything? <laughs> oh my god, yeah. These texts, bro. No. You are not going on a tow and drive. But like, I understand they're upset that their daughter is going somewhere alone, especially when they're 19. I would never let my daughter go out alone if, I, if she was 19, bro, and I didn't know her friends, like, personally. Like, not personally, but know them enough to know that they're trustworthy. Like, oh, he's she's out with him. It's okay. They're really close. They'll be okay. Like, that's all I need to know, bro. I wouldn't want to be, like, a control freak or super overprotective because then my kids would hate me. But this, like, damn... Don't forget to call me. So he eventually was okay with it. Is this me running? Wow, that is not really... I'm not really all that fast. Bro. Why is this dude just staring? Yo, you good? Uh... How's your night going? Okay. Uh, yeah, good conversation. Weirdo, what? Holly? Yeah, I'm okay. I'm okay, don't worry. Mom? Alright. And she said I'll be right. I'll be alright, Dad. So, I need gas. Alright. Yeah, can I get 10 on pump 2? That- $10? What year is this? Like, 1990, bro? $10 for a full tank? Dude, I gotta pay like $40 just to get my tank full. Uh, the bridge? The Norwood Valley Road, I mean. Not a lot of people head down there this time of year. Be careful. What do you mean? For about a century now, many people have been going missing down there. And you're telling me? Oh my god. And people who went looking for them never returned. Locals say the Norwood Valley monster had torn them up and hung them upside down the trees? Well, thanks for the guess. Yeah, honestly, wh bro. Yeah, let's not do that. Alright. And one more thing. If you see a woman in a white or blue gown trying to get a ride, do not stop. Just step on the gas as hard as you can. Why? Some people say that she died in a car accident there prom night. Some say that she seeks vengeance after she was married there. You know what that reminds me of? Is, it was this, like, thing called the Hakachu or something like that? It was, like, this tall woman in a white dress. And she's, like, ten feet, so she's really tall. It is scary, bro. It is scary how tall she is. Like, it is just so intimidating. And she, like, apparently kidnaps kids or something like that. It is so creepy. Bro, why are you walking towards me? Do not walk towards me. Regardless, she's out for blood. Whatever you do, never, ever, under any circumstances, pick up a hitchhiker. Those people out there on the road, putting their thumbs out, they ain't what you think, ma'am. They just ain't. Alright, can I get my gas now? <laughs> can I get my gas? Wait, pump two. Uh, excuse me. Oh. Oh, bro, I have to... Bro, why did I say pump two? Why didn't I say one? 
That's so- oh my god, that's so dumb. Alright, let's go back. Oh. Had to actually start the car. I'm too far. I'm too far. I'm too far. Okay. Uh, 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 okay. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Let's actually get the gas. Oh my god. Am I- Is the gas on this side? Oh, wait. What? There was no hole! Where was I gonna put the pump in? I filled the tank. Bro, what? Okay, my mom texted me, I think. I don't know if you'll find... All right, I gotta buy dog food. Awesome. I'm pretty sure, yeah, it said dog food, right? Yeah, dog food, okay. So, why why would they have dog food at a gas station, bro? Are they actually, they're gonna have it, I know that. Yep, bro, what? That is so ridiculous. Yeah, can I buy this? That'll be five dollars, man, all right. So after you scarred me for life by telling me that story, can I now? I don't think I bought more than one of those. Alright. Are you gonna say anything? Huh? The Norwood Valley monster, you know anything? Big mistake. Okay, I thought he was gonna attack me or something, bro. What? Alright, so... Where... Can I open my trunk? Oh, I can, actually. Wow. Bruh! No, 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 no. Don't do that. Yeah, get in there. <laughs> it freaking... <laughs> it was going through the car. What? Come on, man. All right, let's keep going. So if you guys didn't know, being on the road, you do realize a thing. Monsters truly do exist, bro. Come on, don't be saying stuff like this. And every single one of them looks just like you and me. That's what I was saying. There's no way to know what someone's true intentions are, especially if you just met them, bro. Like, it can be- it's so scary. It is so, so scary. No, 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 no. Turn on. Turn on. I can't see. I can't see. Don't do this. And my mom's texting me. It's not expired or anything. No, it's not expired. I'm not gonna buy expired dog food. Are you kidding me? Come on. No, but, um, I was trying to say... I used to do, um, rideshare apps, uh, a few years ago, when I could not get a stable job. It was a rough time. It was pretty rough. Um, but I, I used to drive for a very long time. Very, very long time. My car, I can literally feel the wear and tear in my car. I know it's gonna, it's, my car is gonna give up soon. I already know it. It's really sad, but I've taken it to the mechanic so many times, and there's just, there's not much that can be done. But it is what it is. I love my car. It's gotten me through so much. But, um, yeah, I used to do rideshare apps, so I know basically all of the state I live in now because of how frequently I did it. I do it every single night, every night, from, like, 2 o'clock in the afternoon to, like, 2 o'clock at night. Like, I drive all day every day delivering food and it wasn't it wasn't the greatest job but you know it got me by but yeah i have a lot of experience on the road so driving at night like this it is therapeutic for me i just play music but it can be very taxing on you it's not good to drive for a very long amount of time it's not good at all it can not damage your body but oh this is the bridge blood clots may form and that's really bad you don't want to develop blood clots especially in your legs okay please please i i don't want to look in my passenger seat and see like a freaking demon lady or something bro i'm not even gonna turn to the right i'm just gonna keep driving i'm in the middle of the bridge but i really don't care the game just loaded no 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 the game just loaded something okay let's not drive so fast that's not a good idea, especially when we don't know the terrain. Let's not go this fast. The game just loaded something. I, I know something's about to happen, because the game just loaded. That's not normal. There's a car. There was just a car there. A stopped car. I hear something. Oh, that's a bunny. Was that a... What is that sound? I'm not even gonna turn, bro. This is so... No, 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 no. 
Oh no. This is so weird, bro. Why? The radio doesn't even work. Who put this here? Yeah, no. Bro, you ki no, this is not normal. What? We gotta hurry, we gotta hurry. No, 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 stop. Why, bro, why is it moving with me? Stop. Stop it. <laughs> that was so weird, it was moving with me. Okay. We gotta hurry up, bro. I got freaking chills everywhere, bro. Oh my god. No. Oh my god. Are you joking? You're joking. The car's not starting? I can't back up. I can't even do anything. I don't mean to make this sound like some cliche horror story, but... Throughout my life, I was told not to take rides from strangers. But at the moment, I had no choice. I was scared to think how long it would take for someone to pass. Oh my god, bro. This is... This is so scary. Like, being in a situation like this is so scary. 10.23pm. I don't even know what time it was when we got stuck. But I'm guessing hours have passed. So, I saw a car coming. Oh. Hey! Help! Help, please! Ah! Oh my god! Oh, Pure evil. I didn't understand how somebody could just leave another human being stranded like that. Bro, they really just killed me. Like, actually, I am dead. He ran me over. They ran me over, not he, sorry. 10.43 p.m. So, 20 minutes have passed. Bro, how do you just- you literally killed someone to avoid having to stop and talk to them. That is literal insanity to me. Yeah, my headlights are shot. This is so creepy, dude. Oh, yo, please. Please, please stop. Please, please stop. Please, please. Oh, okay, let's not get run over. Uh, did he actually stop? Hey, please. Please, I need help, please. Hey. You're the girl from the- OH! Bro, I thought you couldn't talk! Thank you so much for stopping. What are you trying to do out here? I think my car just broke down. I can't call for help. There's no phone service. Think I can get a ride? Where are you heading to? Just the nearest stop where I can call for help. Hop in. Thanks so much. Can you wait while I get my stuff? Hurry up. Just throw it in the back. I won't be here for too long. Alright, alright. Okay. Dude, wow. This... I can't believe he's the one who stopped for us. That's actually insane. Alright, so how much stuff am I... I only had two hands! Bro, you better become forearms from Ben 10. What? I'm not making, like, multiple trips. You need to hurry up. I don't have all day. Bro, I already finished. It's not safe to get out here. What? Oh my gosh. I didn't even realize my thing fell. Alright, we're good. We're good. We're good. I'm done. I'm done. Finally. Now hop in and be quick. Alright. What did he mean it's not safe? Uh... I can somewhat trust you, right? <laughs> <laughs> Somewhat. Uh, yeah, okay. Let's not read text messages when we're in a car with a stranger. So, you won't tell me who you are or where you're going? I live really quick. I was driving home, and that piece of crap broke down on me. 
Jason. What? My name's Jason. Uh, it's nice to meet you, Jason. <laughs> Why are you talkative now? I don't understand. Why was he not talking when I approached him in the store? That is such creepy... You're really lucky I had to be on this side of town tonight. What? I must say, you are one brave young woman. What is that supposed to mean? You got any clue what happened to your car back there? I don't know. It never broke down on me like that before. It's my dad's. It's pretty old. Someone deliberately broke my car down? Is that what he's saying? Yeah, let's keep looking at him. I don't want him to... So what do you think about what he told you back at the gas station? Uh, I'll, I'll just say he's funny. Interesting. Idiot tells that to every person traveling down here. <laughs> Left mouse wanted to talk. So is it true? What, the monster? Let's see, I've never seen the monster for myself, but there are... There are some things, and I'm afraid your car breaking down could have been one of them. Hey, listen, I don't want to sound like that moron, but just remember this. You don't bother them, and you don't be bothered. What does that mean? I can't talk to him anymore. You know, I'm sorry for being a jerk to you before. I'm not the best with people. Hey, it's okay. At least you're admitting it. <sighs> oh my gosh. Okay. So that was like a two hour drive. After a little bit of small talk, he dropped me by a motel. Apparently they offered roadside assistance. Besides, I thought I could use a little rest. Be careful, there are all kinds of people out there, he said ominously before leaving. And he's right. Dang, he actually did drop me. There's all my stuff. Yo. Roadway Inn. This place looked bootleg as heck, bro. The man was putting out the creepiest vibes imaginable. Bro got the freaking... Dude, what is... What are those cardboard clothes you got on, bro? Y'all need a room to shack up for the night? Bro, who speaks like this? No one talks like that. How much is it for a room? 40 for a single. Pay cash only. Alright. Because there can't be any traces because of the shady stuff you got going on here. Room number 9, right over there. Talk about the car. $90. Tommy will take care of it next thing in the morning. Alright. Good, I'll let Tommy know. And one last thing. Try not to wake the other guests. They might not take very nicely to it. Alright. Whatever. Okay, so... Where is room 9? Uh... Oh. Oh, that's one. I cannot read. <laughs> I can't read. I'm sorry, guys. Okay, so now I can actually run a lot faster. That's good. If I strafe, I run faster. That's seven. Oh, yeah, all my backed up messages. Where did you reach? Why are you not picking up the call? What do you mean you're rude? There's no service, you fool. All right. Uh, <laughs> that was me. Holly, I'm okay. I'm okay. Don't worry. All right, room nine. It was nice and warm inside. Can I lock the door? Except there was a smell, a musky smell you'd get from old- Dude, there's no mattress! What? I couldn't have slept there. There's no mattress! Eh, uh, I do not like- it. Ah! Why is some dude just sitting in my room? Like, what? Wh why are you in here? Unless you have my mattress? I do not want you in here. What are you doing in here? I should be asking you that, bro. I'm Tommy. Room service here at Roadway Inn. The finest- Bro, I don't care. What are you doing in there? You know, cleaning stuff. Cleaning what? The guy at the front desk gave me this room. I do not want to speak to you. I have to ask you to step outside while I make the room. I'll just get my stuff, dude. 
Jesus Christ. Can I close this door? Yeah. Okay, yeah. This closet... What is in here, bro? What? What? Okay, obviously. We're gonna have to hide there at some point. But we should not make noise when we're in there. That is so... Okay, let's not turn that on. Okay, so I gotta... Wait for him to... Clean the room. Bro, that is so creepy on so many levels. Oh my god. Who who does that? Who what? Can I actually I needed some energy soda. Alright. Um didn't want it. You just said you wanted soda. Cola. Can I actually choose what I buy? Oh my gosh, refreshing soda. Carrot drink, orange juice, milk chocolate. Okay, she said she wanted an energy drink. Energy soda. Yeah. Consuming these items increases your sprint speed? Oh, wow. Bro, why does it take this long to get a drink? <laughs> oh, wow. I really am fast. Oh, my God. I'm strafing even faster. Okay. Only had two hands. Bro, you better, you better get that Omnitrix. I swear to God. All right, are you good, bro? You all good? Had a word with Joe about the situation. What is wrong with these people? Mercy, mercy, mercy. But don't you worry, it's safe here. I, I'll go get your car. And also, the room's phone is not working. If you need anything, just ask at the front desk. That's a very bad thing. We've been trying to get it fixed, but we haven't been seeing enough guests lately. Bro, stop laughing. You have a good night. All right, bro, I'm just gonna keep getting my stuff. Oh my God, bro, it's crazy how fast I run. You gotta strafe, bro. You gotta strafe. What was in here? There's not even a mirror? Bro, this place is whack. Nah, oh, the mirrors are here, okay. <laughs> All right, so can I rest? Oh my gosh, bro. Oh, I didn't even turn on the TV. Um. I don't know if you guys noticed. I I lit my the hairs on my arm are literally standing up, dude. Someone was just watching me through the blinds. The freaking tap in my bathroom was going off by itself. This tap right here was going off by itself. There's someone out there stalking stalking me. I literally, bro, my body feels awful right now. So she said she wanted coffee. Dude, I gotta close my door. I can't keep doing this. She said she wanted coffee. So let me go ask the guy if there's coffee here or something like that. Bro, also, I got a comment on the last video of Fears to Fathom. And some dude was like, bro, why didn't you open the door? I mean, it, it wasn't the nicest comment. I'll say that. So I had to delete it. But they were like, why didn't you open the door? Bro. I play these games as if I was in this situation myself. Would you open the door to a stranger who was trying to break into your home? Would you? No? Okay, no, I'm not opening the door. I'm not getting jump scared, bro. That's not what I'm here for. I'm here to play the game. If you want to see someone get jump scared, you can search it up yourself. I'm not getting jump scared deliberately. You have a great night. So, bro, I want coffee. Oh, my God. This guy's useless. Amazing. Is there coffee in here? Is this coffee? Yeah. Premium coffee. Awesome. Espresso? Why does it cost no money? Why does it cost no money? What? Why is it free? What coffee machine is free, bro? What? Alright, let's go back. What? Did my game just crash? What? Oh my god! Oh! Oh, my controls are inverted! Oh my god! Oh! Oh, I got drugged! 
Oh, I got drugged. Oh my god, I got drugged. My controls are inverted. Oh no. Get to the room, get to the room, get to the room. Oh. How do I open the door? How do I open the door? Open, open, open. Close it. Okay, okay, okay. Alright, we gotta lay down. We gotta lay down. Oh my god. Bro, my heart is pounding, man. What is this game doing to me? What is this game doing to me, bro? Nah, this is not right. There's nothing right about this, bro. 3.18 a.m. 3.18? I was sedated. 3.18 a.m. The phone doesn't work! What the- I need to get out. I didn't feel safe, but there's someone in the room, bro. Please open the door. Please open the door. Please open the door. Please open the door. Please. 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 You're safe. You're safe going outside. It's safer out there than in here. Please. No, please. You need to get out. You need to get out. Well, you want me to go back to sleep when someone's in my- Who is it? Joe from the front desk. Open the door, please. Okay. Didn't I specifically tell you not to wake anyone up? I have complaints. What are you making all those goofy noises for? Whatever it is, just keep it down, miss. Is that- Why are your eyes all red? Are you messing with me? We don't have a coffee machine?! Okay, okay, I've had enough for you. No! No, please! Please listen to me. I hate my job. Whatever, bro. Where is it now? It was right here, right? Come on! Come on! Come on! What are you doing? It was right here. Bro, this guy could not walk any slower. Someone put the- it's gone! Of course, it's gone, of course. So the guy in this room, I'm guessing, is inside my room right now. He's walking out. He just left. He just left. I just saw him leave. It was right here, and now it's gone. It was right here. What happened? Show me your coffee machine. Bro, it was right here. It was right here. Where is it now? I said go back now. Alright, bro. Whatever. There should be some medication in your room that will offer you some relief. Check the table by the TV. This place sucks. This place sucks. Now I understand why this girl could not talk about this story. Even I am nervous! If I open my door and I die, I'm not playing this game. Yeah, he left. The table by the TV. I probably do, honestly. Yeah, I do. Requires water, of course it does. There better not be anyone in here, bro. Did I just drink it from the bottle with the pills inside? This place is so bootleg, dude. Oh my god. No way. Why do you have those pills anyway? You're not a d licensed... What? Whatever. 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 Oh my god. This game, bro. This game is making me all kinds of restless and uneasy. And anxious. I cannot. Can I go to sleep? I mean, I don't blame her if she can't sleep. Honestly. Um... 
What is that sound? What is that sound? You did not just knock on my door. Oh my god. Who is it? Please open the door, I need help. No, I'm not opening the door, what do you want? Need your help, please, no. I know you're in there. Please leave. I just need to talk to you, I swear. If someone's saying I swear I'm not a cop, I think that's not a good thing. Please go away or I'm going to call the cops. To this day, I find it really weird that the manager inferred to not get police involved as it would have affected the motel's reputation and let go of the situation? I believe that the town could have been home to a cult or drug ring, or possibly something even worse. Tommy arrived at the car after what felt like a year. I never went on long road trips again. I would always take airplanes. Yeah. Also, I can literally feel my heart about to burst out my chest. Never again. Never again, bro. Survivor. Damn right I'm a survivor. Oh my gosh. Yeah, no. That... That was too much. Nothing even happened to me and that was too much. That was too much for me. Oh my god. Wow. That was incredible. That was incredible. Thank you all so much for watching. Leave a like, comment, subscribe. Let me know what you guys think about the content so far. And as always, we'll see you all next time. See you.